Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. Chicago Public Schools celebrating as it renames a Northside school in honor of Harriet Tubman. WGN's Julian Cruz is live in Lakeview tonight with more. Hi, Julian. Hello, Ray. Known for decades as Agassiz Elementary, this Lakeview school building is named, or was named, I should say, for a 19th century Harvard scientist who is said to have espoused racist ideologies. The name change and idea promoted by the students themselves. There's joyous celebration in Lakeview at the renamed Harriet Tubman Elementary at North Seminary and George Street, an effort initiated by the students. The name Harriet Tubman is very important in terms of black history, considering she was one of many who helped stop slavery in this country. The students themselves researching the history and reading the words of the fearless civil rights leader herself. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. As our new namesake, Harriet Tubman herself, once said, and something I know you will all live by, every great dream begins with a dreamer. The name change supported by the adults here to mark the historic moment, including State Senator Sarah Fagenholtz, CPS principals, school CEO Pedro Martinez, and Alderman Tom Tunney, among others. You are the future of our city. Um, and our democracy in our country. And Students, listen up. You are the new conductors of the Underground Railroad. The name change approved just shy of a year ago at the height of the pandemic. Parents, teachers, and most importantly, the students celebrating the changeover today now that it's Black History Month. Harriet Tubman was somebody who empowered others, and she believed that there are good people in the world. Now, CPS's Office of Equity says that it is committed to comprehensive reviews to consider new school names when a school is named after an individual who does not represent the values of teachers, students, and faculty. In Lakeview, Julian Cruz, W.